And first here at 5 o'clock, it is a big day in Connecticut. Anyone 16 or older can sign up now for their COVID vaccine. The process has been relatively smooth so far, and we are now learning the supply may soon outpace the demand. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell has the information we just learned just a short time ago at the governor's daily update. Hi, Matt. Hey, Irene and Courtney, and you know, this is a very real concern that the demand may actually be less than the supply of the vaccine. Now we're doing very well with vaccinations and we have not heard of the huge delays or struggles that we saw in any previous phase. And this is a double edged sword because in four weeks there is the expectation that the people who do want their dose will have it and then tens of thousands, maybe more we will just choose not to get it. Now take a look at this chart. This is what's interesting. We have 43% of our entire 16 and older population vaccinated. That is the third best in the country. And with today's floodgates opening, expect that number to rise to above 50% in the next few weeks. Now today's rollout also happened on a day when there's another big headline that everyone who is getting their shot needs to know. An ongoing trial shows the Pfizer dose is highly effective after six months. It's also effective against many of the variants. And this is important because the UK, that B117, it's here in Connecticut. So with this new information, we wanted to know how often we may need to go through the process of getting this shot. And a representative from Pfizer joined us today with the answer. This next study will help us to understand, you know, what, what are the time intervals by which you need to boost at six months or at 12 months. Uh, but I think the key important thing to remember is that with the variants that we have seen um, that are really quite prevalent in the world now, um, the need to boost is in our reality. All right, so the exact time frame that's still being worked on, but right now there is the expectation that this could be part of our lives annually, similar to the flu shot. Now, the same test is being done on the Moderna vaccine, but the results aren't out just yet. Live here at the Digital Desk, Matthew Campbell, Chantha Mastino.